Tesla, Google, and a lot of other great companies are improving driving automation. And a driverless future is inevitable. But is that a good path forward? For an answer, let's go ahead and review the top 25 pros and cons of self-driving cars. And please, keep in mind that these ideas I'm sharing with you today assume full autonomy on the roads. The transition over the next few decades won't be a bump-free ride. Now, before we dive in, I'd really appreciate it if you just tap that like button down below as well as subscribe to my channel. All right, let's jump into the pros of self-driving cars. Up first, saving lives. The World Health Organization in 2010 reported 1.24 million deaths related to vehicles. The main cause is human error and automation will, will replace many of those fatal errors. Your car's computer won't become distracted with tasks such as eating or talking on the phone. Also an interesting note, uh, mothers against drunk driving are also big fans of driving automation. All right, the second point uh, or pro of self-driving cars is reducing animal roadkill. Over 1 million deer vehicle collisions occur in the US each year, but this will drop with self-driving cars. Driverless cars come equipped with sensors that can sense much more or see much more than the human eye. Uh, at night, your car could detect and react to a deer moving on the side of the road well before it comes into your view. All right, the third benefit of self-driving cars is boosted productivity. In the US, the average commute time is about 25 minutes. So driverless cars will free up that time. You can get a jump start on your workday or other tasks during the commute. The fourth uh, self-driving car benefit is reducing driving stress. Road, ra uh, road rage leads to unsafe driving and the added stress negatively impacts your health. One study found that the longer the commute, the higher the person's blood pressure and body mass index. All right, the fifth point, uh, automated parallel parking. This is one of the most failed parts of uh, driving tests and it's a challenging task, but computers are already doing it better without fender benders. The sixth pro to self-driving cars is eliminating honking noise. As road rage disappears, honking will fade away. When cars are automated, it won't be useful to have a horn. The cars will already communicate with, with each other silently. A seventh benefit to the self-driving car future is saving money. All the driverless car pros, and co or pros that I've mentioned so far have a common theme. They can save you money. And as a frugal investor, I'm excited for technology that's improving all of our lives. There are also a lot of great investing opportunities and depending on the response, I might, um, might cover some of those opportunities. Uh, the eighth benefit to self-driving cars is gonna be lower insurance costs. Automation will lower insurance costs for drivers uh, and according to KPMG, the auto insurance sector will shrink by more than 70%, uh, 137 billion uh, by 2050. All right, the ninth self-driving car benefit is eliminating speeding tickets. Self-driving cars won't speed and you simply won't give cops the option to ticket you. All right, the 10th point, uh, improving uh, traffic flow. Communication is key and our computers are getting better at that. We're connecting our devices through the internet and improving the communication speed. Driverless cars will be able to draft each other and won't need stoplights uh, anymore at all. The 11th pro of self-driving cars is going to be lower emissions. Self-driving cars will bring more efficiency to our roads. As a result, we'll use less energy. The growth in automation is helping electric car or electric vehicles uh, replace gas guzzlers. The 12th benefit of self-driving cars, which a lot of people don't think about, is saving garage space. A garage takes up a good chunk of total square footage in a home. And in a tightly packed community, that's valuable space. Driverless cars won't need a garage that's connected to your home. Instead, you could send your car to a tightly packed, secure community garage, if you even need a car at all. All right, uh, another benefit is empowering the elderly. As people age, they lose their ability to drive. This is a big setback for many Americans, but it just leads to another self-driving car benefit. 
the future can give uh, some freedom back to elderly people. Another benefit, automating fuel charging. You won't have to wait at the pump anymore. Uh, you'll be able to send your car to charge itself. All right, another benefit is the elimination of driver's licenses. In the US, they're a little expensive, but if you look at places like Germany, it costs a lot to be able to drive a car. Uh, overall, hands-free driving will be done with simple commands or through taps of your smart or taps on your smartphone. You won't need any costly training. Uh, parents will also have the ability to apply parental controls to provide safer experiences for their kids. All right, another benefit is automatic car updates. Uh, you won't have to take your car into the shop, as often at least, and most times it will be able to drive itself in. Also, your car will be able to automatically update its software overnight. All right, uh, the final pro of self-driving cars that I have for you today is access to cheaper travel, which kind of blends in with another point. Um, a car is the second most expensive uh, asset most people buy, but with car automation replacing uh, car automation replacing drivers, costs will come down, and most people will have access to lower cost rides. Now that we've covered a lot of pros, let's go ahead and jump into some of the downsides of self-driving cars. All right, the first con of self-driving cars is going to be reducing driving freedom. Driverless cars will become mandatory on most roads. That's a few decades out, but people will fight against the loss of that freedom. Driving manually on the roads is ingrained into American culture. A second downside to uh, self-driving cars it's a massive downside is the loss of jobs. One of the most expensive parts of Uber, for example, is its drivers. So Uber will be happy to cut jobs and um, cut jobs at least once driving automation is up to par. There are also millions of truck drivers in the US and technology will replace them over the next few decades. Uh, I've done a deep amount of research into automation and it's led to kind of one outcome and that's universal basic income. Uh, I'll go ahead and drop a link to my favorite research down in the comments below. Another con to self-driving cars is increased cyber threats. Lifting up the hood of a self-driving car will reveal a complex system of wires and computers. Your car will have more access points for hackers and those hackers can gain more control over your car. Uh, another downside to self-driving cars is loss of personal data. Companies collect more data on us every year, and driverless cars will be a goldmine for learning about our travel habits and much more. Companies will then be able to improve their marketing to extract more money. Another con of self-driving cars, uh, forgetting driving skills. Manual driving skills will decrease as hands-free driving is used. In the event of a system failure, drivers will be less prepared to control their car. This tendency has already been seen with pilots as many of their critical flying controls were automated. All right, another downside is decrease in town revenue. Some small towns put, uh, are pulling a lot of revenue from speeding tickets and vehicle violations. The, the lost revenue will put some pressure on some smaller towns, but I'm sure they'll, they'll adapt and overcome. Now for the second to last con of self-driving cars, uh, increased regulatory complexity. For example, does a, car, uh, a car's computer swerve off a bridge to save one person and potentially kill everyone on board? There's a lot of legal gray area ahead for self-driving cars. The regulatory side is the biggest barrier uh, for adopting fully automated vehicles on the roads and politicians always struggle to keep up with the rate of innovation. The final point that I have for you today or the final negative for self-driving cars is uh, expensive uh, infrastructure. Roads will take on a new design and signing system in the future. It will be an expensive uh, transition to retrofit the roads with technology to assist self-driving cars. All right, overall, some of the driverless car cons and pros overlap, although I hope you can clearly see the pros vastly outweigh the, the cons. That's why self-driving cars are inevitable and I'm looking forward to that future. 
Now, I'd really appreciate it if you just tap the like button down below as well as subscribe to my channel, and please let me know if you have any comments or questions.